Selue, selue, selue. E mon ongele, lu sala e lu vuvamu. Sisters and brothers, away you know see me, Pastor Melo speaking. In the name of the Most High, Tatanzambia Mazuru, Creator of heavens and earth, the one who anointed me to be your servant and to get you prepared to go back to Zion, Luvuvamu. Today is August 20th, 2020, and today is a very important date. As you know, today is the anniversary of the arrival of the first members of Isolele who were kidnapped from Congo, the Antotila, to America. I will mention here the names of my so many, many, many beloved nieces and nephews in the diaspora and ask them to remember in this very day the memory of their ancestor who survived the Middle Passage and who made it possible for them to be alive and uh, to be today or nowadays participant to the organization 400 years after of uh, the great return to Zion. They are real heroes. And I apologize to the many, many, many whose name will not be mentioned. I can't do it because they are so numerous that the video would be too lengthy. So, I will start with the Issachar couple, Duane and Nicole. Dona Kana Lizabrin, Ivri Black Kese, Mitzi Hostein, Yason Lozano, Zion Daughter, Teresa Martin, Marner Campbell, T.C. Trey Belay Yisolele, Nadia Rudd, Sister Boki, Yahuan, Prince of a Higher Power, Makaya, Sarah, Jania Israel, Debra Young, Susania Israel, Stefani, Walesia Turner, Tai Greer, Sinia Zion, Notorious Z, Issa Perry, Anita Mikaela, Geneva Ya Chosen, Rangle Luke, Ikeke Wamboje, Aboyemi Babatunde, Raniad, Randall Dunn, Nola Grace, Queen Kandake, Karen Ifeolua, Sandra Heino, Jus de Mise du Juste, Dan, Divergent Millennial, Tony B, Patrice Brassius, King Dawidi, Kate Brilliante, Amy Juan, Chantalitia, Derek Duns, Ella Kelly, Ernestine Jones, First Bomb, Findile Gina, Mary Harry Jews, Marie Highway, Humbled Hans William, Laverne Mayo, Jeanette Laidlow, Mike Watson, Mimi Love, The Soki Twins, Sharon Perry, Nana Anointed Queen, Apostle Shamin. Honor to the ancestors who survived the Middle 
passage in Geta. When they reached the shores of America and were enslaved, our ancestors surely sung the words of Psalm 137. By the rivers of Babylon, where we sat down in every way, where we remember Zion, let us away captivity require from us a song. But how can we sing a love song in a strange land? How could they sing a love song in a strange land? Because America is not your land. America is Babylon. And it is written in the sacred scriptures that the day will come when the prophecy about the return will come true. And the time is this. I will just read now the excerpt of a history book about this very day of August 20th. Today, in 1619, I mean today, August 20th, in 1619, it was reported by English tobacco farmer John Rolfe, husband of famed Indian princess Pocahontas, that 20 and old African slaves arrived at the Jamestown settlement in British colonial North America aboard Dutch men of wool sheep. The sheep had originated in the Portuguese colonies of present-day Angola. Oh, you know, I am myself from Angola. This gives me the right to stand now and talk to you, our beloved diaspora. I am the spokesperson of Simon Toko, the hidden Messiah, whose presence on earth constitutes the third secret of Fatima, which once revealed will set the world upside down. Ingeta, 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 sisters and brothers, this year 2020 is a very special year. The scientists of the old earth are making every effort to find a solution to the pandemic of the COVID-19, but they won't succeed. It will extend all along this year because it's the year of the Jubilee the year when the trumpet is resounding to those in the diaspora who are awakening and who will assist me, the spokesman of Simon Toko, the spokesman of the hidden Messiah, to organize things up for the great return because the bible say says that people of isolele would be enslaved and uh, during 400 years but after that they would come out with great riches and go back to zion but afterwards subsequently judgment will fall on babylon the country which enslaved them. I know that many among the diaspora are doubting. It's not a problem. It has always been so. Even Kuswa Congo, 2,000 years ago, 
had people who doubted, who called him a false prophet, that he had demons. No, I am addressing those who are willing to assist me organizing the great return. To them, I say, my Matondo Masaka and Nsambu Ulolo, the Most High, Tatanzambi Mazulu, bless you abundantly. And I love you. I love you so much. We have never ceased to love you. Dear Diaspora, dear nieces and nephews, Zola Queen, Pastor Melo speaking. Lusala elu vuvamu Gele kwa tata ngele baka ngolo zampa Kadinta wame ya sala ilungidi